Vince Mercandetti here with starting pitcher for the men's Bobcat baseball team, Andy Mayer. And Andy, how does the team look to you so far? The team is uh, coming out to a great start so far. We are currently 8-8, eight and eight, and uh, we had a great, uh, well, r- kind of a rough series this weekend at uh, Fairleigh Dickinson. But we bounced back, uh, lost the first two, then uh, bounced back and won the second two. Uh, but uh, this year the team's looking really strong. The bats have come alive. And the pitching, starting pitching in, in the bullpen has been uh, solid for us. And it uh, looks, looks like it's going to be a great season. And with all the veteran senior leadership on this team, do you feel this year is maybe your best shot at doing something special in the near future? I would say that this is supposedly one of the best talented, uh, most talented teams that Quinnipiac has had in, in, in a while. Uh, certainly with uh, leaders uh, such as Randy Gress, Ryan Rizzo, and Pat Egan. And uh, with that leadership, I think they're going to take us definitely to an NEC championship and then hopefully uh, do some damage in the regional tournament. And you're a sophomore now. How has your role changed this year from last year on the team? Last year, uh, I came into came on onto the team and I uh, didn't really know what I would uh, how how I'd play on the team as far as whether I'd be in the bullpen or uh, in the starting rotation. And towards the end of the season, uh, I was one of the starters. This year, I knew that I had to work a lot harder uh, and get into the starting rotation again. And all that hard work has paid off so far, being that. Currently, I'm one of the weekend starters, and with that role, I just know that I have to work so much harder to uh, continue to be on top of my game and give uh, the team the best chance they can to win on the weekends. And what are your thoughts on the new group of freshmen that are on the team now? The new group of freshmen have uh, performed uh, really well. Both the pitchers, Joseph Serini and Todd DiFrancesco, have done great things on the mound down south and then here in the in the northeast games. They've been great for us on the mound out of the bullpen and during the weekdays as the weekday starters. And then in left field, we have uh, Ryan Ulrich, who's playing a great left field and being a great leadoff batter for us, who's really fast as a big utility guy. A lot of guys are superstitious about touching the foul lines or how they wear their socks. Do you or the team as a whole have any type of superstitions in regards to baseball? The only superstition that I have is not crossing, uh, not touching that line uh, when I go out to the field. I always make sure I give a big hop over it before I step on the mound. But uh, the socks up or the socks down is more of a preference to the players, being that some is just a look thing or some it's a just a comfort thing. Uh, so, uh, But on the team, we do have a thing where people put eye black uh, on their face before the game and only specific people are allowed to put the eye black on some of the batters and some are not for uh, good luck purposes. Sir, is there any special, like, why certain people, what what do you have to do to be able to wear the eye makeup? Well, unfortunately, it's just the how you did that day. Uh, for instance, if I was to put the eye black on Randy Gress and he goes four for four that day, I would be his guy that puts the eye black on him uh, pretty much for the next games. But if somebody was to put eye black on, let's say, Ryan Rizzo, and he went 0 for 4, Chances are Ryan Rizzo would not pick that person to put eye black on them for the next uh, for the next week or so. And you mentioned Ryan Rizzo. Who are some of the seniors that are starting to step up and really take tar- charge of this team? Certainly Ryan Rizzo playing in right field, uh, coming off uh, shoulder surgery in the off season, has performed great. Uh, in the, he's our two batter and consistently hits uh, in every game for us. Tim Benkoski in center field has uh, really come alive during towards the. Uh, towards these last few games and is hitting the ball really great. Randy Gress consistently hits the ball. Jeff Minetti is playing a great first base for us. And Pete Cumberfell, a senior, is um, our DH and is uh, hitting really well. And then from the pitching side of it, Paul Gibson uh, could be one of the best uh, relieving pitchers in the NEC. And Pat Egan, with his 6'7 presence, uh, is just uh, a pitcher that nobody likes to face on a week, uh, day-to-day basis. And the last question, is there any particular player on this team we should especially keep our eyes on this season, whether it be eye-popping numbers or a breakout year? I would say that, uh, I mean, I deal with the pitchers a lot, and uh, Joe Duffy, a sophomore pitcher from Colmack, Long Island, uh, would definitely be a person to watch. He's going to put some great numbers up, uh, whether it be um, wins for the NEC or whether it be strikeouts or just uh, a day-to-day performance. But Joe Duffy is certainly going to be a pitcher that uh, Quinnipiac is uh, lucky to have this season and is going to be uh, a contender for maybe one of the best pitchers in the NEC. All right. Thank you, Andy.